Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Fantastic Insights, where we provide insights from some of the coolest people in franchising. My name is Alicia Visconti. I am the president and CEO of Franserve and Franchise Dictionary Magazine. Now, Franserve is the largest franchise consulting organization in the world. And our mission is really very simple. We aim to change people's lives through franchise ownership. And we do that through a network of incredible franchisors and franchise consultants, all who help their candidates explore franchise opportunities. Now, today I'm very excited. I have one of my incredible franchisors with me, Jayus Chasm. Jayus is co-founder of Valente PPO. And Jayus, welcome to the show. Thank you, Alicia, much appreciated. Uh, great being a part of um, France. Well, thank you very much. And you know, I think it would be great if you could start off and share with our listeners a little bit about what Valenta BPO does and what traits make it unique in its category. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for that, Alicia. Uh, well, you know, we're a B2B uh, franchise, right? And one of the things that uh, we do is we assist other businesses become more profitable. And we do this by optimizing the processes, uh, implementing automation and implementing outsourcing. So these are the three key services that we take to market uh, to help our clients. What makes a model very unique is we take care as a franchisor, we take care of all the backend operations. So our franchisees, our franchise partners, they get to work on their business rather than work in their business. And that automatically gives them the opportunity to build a business that is scalable. Uh, so I think that is one of our very, very unique propositions. Uh, we're also, you know, uh, recession uh, proof and uh, we've got a very good ongoing revenue stream as well. So in our space, in the B2B category, I think we're very, uh, we've got a very unique proposition. It's very professional, sophisticated and scalable. Awesome. I love it. Sounds like a winner already. So, you know, let's talk a little bit about markets. Now, a lot of times when I ask a franchise or this, you know, the answer is everywhere and that's okay as an answer, but a lot of times there are specific markets that they'd love to penetrate sooner rather than later. What about with your brand? Where, where are you looking to grow, you know, immediate and long-term? Sure. Well, Alicia, right now, you know, very recently, we've had two area developers start with this, uh, one in the New England region and one in the mid-Atlantic region. So, you know, for us, I think, um, you know, as a franchisor, what we would like to do initially is, you know, have good coverage across the U.S. for our area developers. And we see that being having about eight more opportunities in there, right? So to totally have about 10 area developers. So I would say, you know, for uh, those that are looking at building, you know, uh, larger territories and so on as well, like a master franchise, we have the area development opportunities, which will be very limited. Otherwise, we do have on the Northeast right now with our two local area developers there, they're there to provide extensive support and make, making sure that each and every franchise partner that joins us in those regions are very successful. So I would say for a single unit uh, you know, franchise, our Northeast region uh, would be a very good place to join us right now. And for those looking for yeah, um, you know, a master opportunity, uh, we do have eight more spaces remaining. Which is great because you don't, you know, it, it's kind of those go quick sometimes and you don't always have those opportunities. So listeners, if that's something that you're interested in, in a development air, you know, type of area in a larger space, this is the time to get in on the brand. So just putting that out there to you. You know, so we're talking a little bit about markets. We're talking about expansion. What about traits in a franchise owner and a franchise partner? What do you look for in your franchisees for them to be successful? Yeah, sure, absolutely. And look, to summarize this, right, you know, someone who's got a consultative sales experience in the past, that really helps um, because, you know, that's really what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis in our business as well. Uh, you know, great communication, and relationship building skills, that's very important because, you know, we take a view of building a client for life, right? Uh, so that relationship building is very, very important. And, you know, lastly, I would also say, you know, uh, being able to, you know, speak to a C-level, right, or a management or a business owner and identify their issues and come up with solutions, right? We do not have one service or one product for us. It's more about designing a solution for our clients. So it's understanding the capabilities to so someone who can problem solve uh, you know, identify the pain points and come up with some smart solutions. Um, so I think, you know, if you've got a candidate that if you're, uh, understands these three, uh, that has these three uh, you know, qualities, they would be very successful. 
it sounds like also like having very good listening skills, right? Being able to hear what the, the uh, prospect is saying and what their struggles are and what their needs may be. So I would think listening skills in that regard too, correct? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's doing that discovery piece, right? You've got to listen. You've got to understand where the, where, where the business is at, what the pain points are. And sometimes things just come up in a random conversation. You know, you're talking to them about one one issue and you realize there's three other things that need to be uh, solved for or three other requirements that they have. Absolutely. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Jayesh, but um, you guys do a veteran discount for people who are, have left the military, correct? Yeah, absolutely. We do. It's 10%. And, you know, we'd like to uh, thank all the veterans as well for their service. Well, thank you for that. As you may or may not know, I'm actually very involved in helping veterans connect in the franchising space. We know they make wonderful franchisees. They love following a system. And so we appreciate the discount that you offer and all of the people, you know, veterans, we so appreciate your service. So again, franchising being all about that, right? It's not, you know, with that concept of working, you know, for yourself, but not by yourself. So we appreciate that discount very, very much by your brand. So I'd like to go a little bit deeper, Jayesh, and talk a little bit about one of my favorite hashtags on social media, and that's Franchise Strong. I'm very passionate about it. I probably use this hashtag more than anything. And the reason being is because I do feel that it is just a culmination of everything that franchising is. It's a system, it's support, um, it's friendship, it's, we call it the franchise fam. I mean, we come together when situations are great and also when there's things to overcome like COVID and situations like that. Franchising will always move forward. We're always passionate about we, what we do. We always wanna help people's dreams of ownership come true. I'm very curious to what Franchise Strong means to you and to your brand. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, uh, Alicia, I've started using that hashtag as well, um, you know, ever since I found about it. So yeah, thanks for that. I think a very good idea there in creating that. Well, you know, for us, Franchise Strong is, you know, building a very strong team culture within our franchise network, you know, um, internally, uh, you know, where we're working as one team. And this ultimately, um, you know, benefits our clients as well, right? Um, and automatically in this process, it creates good opportunities for those that want to become a part of a strong um, family, right? Or for team culture, uh, it creates those opportunities for them to start um following their dreams and joining us as well so we create those opportunities along that in that journey so that's what you know for us that's what franchise strong is all about it's about that strong team culture which ultimately has a nice rippling effect across like, across the board absolutely because really the way for us to all be successful is to help each other and become stronger now one of the things i wanted to ask you about when we first started uh, in the introduction and you were explaining a little bit about your your brand you were talking about it being you know a b2b brand so for the owners um can you explain a little bit about that uh, in terms of work hours life you know life work balance the nine to five versus you know other weekends nights can you explain a little bit about what that model looks like yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I suppose, you know, in, in any franchise or in any business, right, you're always going to get what you put in, right? The more time, the more effort. And it's also being smart about it, right? Um, you know, sometimes you could get a lot more um, just putting in a few hours, but being smart about how you do it, right? Um, there's lots of automation tools and so on as well that can be used today. But again, it's about strategizing how to use that and so on. So, you know, um, in, in general, though, you know, uh, as a B2B business, so, right, we work with other businesses and, you know, our franchise partners usually work with businesses in their local area. There are no restrictions for them if they do have established connections in other parts outside of the territory or other parts of the country for, for them to do business in as well. Uh, so that they, they are open to that. You know, obviously with any franchise or especially in our franchise, we do have multiple revenue streams. So with our ongoing revenue stream, that automatically provides the flexibility and gives them the option of work-life balance, right? Um, you know, for example, we have one of our franchise partners right now, you know, who's decided to um, get his pilot's license, right? And he spends, um, you know, two days a week during the week and one day on the weekend, you know, trying to smash through his hours and get his pilot's license. Now, this would not have been possible if it was um, a retail operation or if it was a nine to five job, right? Um, so he's built his business to, um, to an extent where he can afford to take this time off and still has that ongoing revenue coming in. Now, obviously, you know, the same franchise partner had used that time to 
to build his business further, he would be doing, he would achieve a lot more. But this is where, you know, success is very different for different people, right? Um, and we, for us, it's all about understanding what their personal goals are as well. If we understand that, we can then work with them towards building that business plan. And, you know, if um, they're keen to hit some high targets in terms of numbers, then we can work with them on an aggressive marketing plan, give them ideas around that, how to achieve that. If it's to build it up to a certain extent and then build a team that can then take the business forward, then you know we can again strategize with them on that as well. But it's very important for them to first have that first-hand experience, understand, learn it themselves, and then they can lead a very strong team as well. So uh, you know we have franchise partners in their second year or third year that are starting to do that, where they're starting to look at recruiting people in their business. Uh, we have them with that. So yeah, it's for us, it's all about, look, let's understand their goals and then let's work with them uh, together. And that's great. It definitely sounds like your brand provides that kind of flexibility and scalability to the owners. And I think, you know, going into, as we're going into 2021 um, and people are having wake up calls about what they want to do with the rest of their lives, with their families, with their time. And as you said, how they define success. I think it's wonderful to have a brand that has that insight and foresight to be able to work with the individual and provide a success plan, if you will, that works for them and works for you. Because again, isn't that the whole relationship with the franchisor and the franchisee? And I'm sure you can talk a little bit about that as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Look, you know, ultimately we're really successful when our franchise partners are successful, right? Uh, for us, you know, before we even became a franchisor, we were ourselves offering the services, right? So, you know, we were doing direct sales, we were doing direct service to our clients. Um, we proved the model ourselves globally, right? Uh, you know, and it was only after we had done this that we decided to uh, come up with the, the franchise um, opportunity to, to allow others join us as a franchise partner. So we completely get it. We've been there, we've done it. And for us, um, you know, we, we completely, I was a franchisee as well in the past. So, you know, I quite uh, enjoyed the franchise system. And, and that's why, you know, for us, it's very important to understand what they want to achieve. And I said, you know, success is very different for different people. So if we can understand that and then, you know, make sure they've got the right skills to be successful in our business as well, then it's going to become a good win-win situation for everyone, right? They're enjoying what they're doing. Uh, you know, we have quite a few people joining us today who do similar, similar roles in corporate environments, right? But in corporate environments, they do have their own limitations and they're at the mercy, right, of the, the corporate structure. Well, over here, you know, they're responsible for uh, themselves. Absolutely. And they build equity. It's a whole different ball game once you come over into the wonderful world of franchising. I so agree with you on that. And I want to thank you so much. I know everybody's crazy busy these days and uh, running around, but I want to thank you so much for coming on to the show, for talking about the brand and providing your fantastic insights. And audience, I want to thank you for your time and please uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel and stay up to date with our videos. But Jayesh, I want to just turn it over to you as we go to wrap up for any final thoughts that you can share with our listeners. Yeah, look, you know, with the listeners, you know, right now, you know, as Alicia mentioned as well, you know, there's lots of people thinking about, you know, do you want to continue doing this for the rest of uh, your, your working or your professional lives? You know, I mean, now, now is a very good time to sort of think about a change, you know, I mean, regardless of what it is, um, you know, you, you've got to start to start achieving your goals, right? So make that start now, right? Um, it's a very good time, you know, you're getting into 2021 right now. Franserve has a <clears throat> fantastic group of uh, consultants. You know, I believe there's 600 uh, plus consultants and you know, we quite enjoy working with Franserve brokers ourselves. So you know, reach out to the Franserve team. You know, their brokers will be able to work with you, identify the best opportunities that will match your, your skill set as well, right? And ultimately, you know, uh, connect with, uh, with, with a few franchisors, do your research, and if you feel the right passion, you know, and you find a good fit with the franchise, go for it. And, you know, again, time is important because, you know, there's always going to be limited opportunities, limited territories in uh, areas, right? So, you know, go for it. Uh, go after your dreams, right? Don't wait. I love it. I love it. Go for it. That's the perfect way to end it. If you're a little bit nervous, listeners, as you started, it just takes one baby step to start moving forward. So with that, I want to thank you very much, Jayesh. I, and I have to just say, have a fantastic day. <laughs> you too. Thanks, Alicia.